Hi there, I'm Dr. Stephanie Falk. And today I wanna to address the question, might I be experiencing clinical depression? And how do I know the difference between depression and just a rough couple of days? Well, I think depression is a whole lot different than just a rough couple of days. All of us have mood fluctuations to some extent. I think that sometimes it's a little bit harder to get out of bed or we feel a little bit off. And that's normal and natural, especially when we have various stressors in life. Um, it, it just happens, it's part of daily living. The difference is that with depression, you experience a significant mood shift for two weeks or longer, and you have a, a cluster of symptoms. And so I wanna talk about what that looks like. I think that our, our most typical caricature kind of picture is someone can't get out of bed, and they're sad and tearful nearly every day, all day, in and out. And for some people that experience depression, that is the case, and, and it's incredibly difficult. But for other people, they actually experience a, a negative mood shift, but it looks different. Some people might feel empty or hopeless or kind of numb and neutral. They're not experiencing joy. Some people might be irritable and angry. And for adolescents and, and for men, that's often more often the case, that they're, that they're not identifying as, as feeling sad, but as feeling irritable and, and just kind of numb. So that's one of the main identifiers for someone that's experiencing depression and that has to be met or another criteria that's a main indicator that also has to be met, one or the other actually, is a lack of interest or pleasure in, in daily living and in daily activities that typically bring joy and satisfaction. And so if you're going through life and you're doing things that you typically enjoy but you're not really in it, you're not feeling satisfaction that it normally brings, then that's another telltale indicator that you might be experiencing depression. And if one of those indicators is, is met, then as therapists, we continue to assess for depression and we look at some other factors. And so I wanna briefly go over what those factors are so that you get kind of a larger sense of what depression is and isn't. So we look for sleep changes. Are you sleeping more than normal? Are you waking up and, and you don't feel rested or are you waking up too early? Are you having appetite changes? Are you eating everything in sight or it's really difficult to have an appetite and eat anything at all? Maybe there's been weight gain or weight loss and you're not actively seeking to achieve that. Uh, focus issues, indecisiveness. A lot of people describe just feeling kind of foggy and, and they can't really think clearly and they can't make decisions. Another thing is low energy or fatigue, lack of motivation. Another indicator is what we call uh, physical agitation. And so you might be pacing, you might be finger tapping, you might be clenching your fists. Another thing is just kind of a slowing down of movement. And so maybe you're walking slower, you're getting things done slower, you're sitting and, and getting up slower. And it can't be just a subjective idea of this. Other people have to be able to observe and, and to note this behavior. Another indicator is thinking of thoughts of, of death and dying. Maybe you wake up and, and you're not very excited that you lived through the night. You, you kind of ask yourself, why am I here? What am I doing? What, what's the point of life? An another uh, thing that people might experience is active suicidal ideation. So they're thinking about ending their life. So I hope I've painted kind of a, an overall cluster of, of symptoms for you. Depression isn't just one of these. It it's a cluster of, of symptoms. We actually have to have five or more present. And again, one of those has to be either a lack of interest or pleasure in activities that you normally enjoy or a, a mood shift, whether it's sadness or irritability or emptiness. I think that depression is a really difficult thing to grasp when you haven't experienced it. And if you're a loved one watching this, then what I would ask you to kind of think about it is grief and loss. I think grief is probably the closest parallel. And when we lose someone that we love, it's hard to get up and to get, get going. It's hard to make decisions. It's, it's hard to get good sleep. And, and there is an overall sense of sadness or irritability oftentimes. An added feature that the depression usually um, has with it is a lack of self-esteem or confidence, uh, and that separates it from, from grief. So people don't wake up and, and say, hey, pick me, I wanna be depressed. It's an utterly difficult experience, but it can be moved through, it can be worked through. In some cases, it can be completely resolved, and for other people, they learn how to live alongside it and to manage it very effectively, so that they enjoy everyday living and have uh, peace and satisfaction in their life. I hope that it's been helpful to present this information to you and, and to get you to think a little bit more about whether you or, or a loved one might be experiencing depression so that you can learn a little bit more about it, do maybe some self-help and, and perhaps seek some professional help. 
Appreciate you tuning in. If you don't want to miss a video, feel free to subscribe. And I hope that this finds you having an absolutely beautiful day. Thank you.